Hey, it's Laura Helen from Books Boost Business. Super happy to have you here. Today, we are going to be interviewing the incredible Michael Hocken, who's launching his book at the end of this month. I'm super excited to share with you some of his journey. He's going to have a free giveaway for us. Ah, I'm so excited to share with you this incredible journey that he's been on to self-discovery and learning how to get out of his head and live through his heart. He's had an amazing transformation. He's overcome some huge challenges and I'm looking forward for him to be able to come and share those with you. Let me just invite him on here. Here we go, Michael. Okay, so we've invited him on. So as soon as he shows, I can add him to this incredible live where you can hear more about his story from the man himself. So we're just looking forward for him to jump on so we can go live. Yay! So I hope you're all enjoying this beautiful day wherever you are. Here we go. You can see we're enjoying the sunshine. Yay! So just add in my for now and then you can... Yay! It's worked! Woo! <laughs> so excited it worked Yay! first time! Yay! Hey! How's it going? I'm awesome! Hey Michael, welcome to our awesome live. Tell hey. everyone, who are you Michael? Um, yes, I'm Michael. Uh, I am from Sweden at the moment. I'm 32 years of age um, and I'm an, an entrepreneur. I started out with a, a normal regular business and then ended up in, in, in different uh, things, uh, do some events and, and do some, uh, so, some coaching and then I uh, wrote, uh, wrote this book uh, uh, together with you and uh, I'm on a completely different path. I have some other uh, new startups uh, also that I'm doing, but uh, the um, what the the part the most of the time now I do some uh, and I'm working together with people, so that's what I'm doing. It's where my heart is and what I love and and uh, where I get most fulfilled by. Um, even though money is fun and creating businesses is fun, but working with people and 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 actually really. Mm, connect with people like it, yeah I love that so yeah so what's been the biggest transformation in your journey so far uh, so far you know it's uh, it's gone now since uh, since this uh, journey I'm talking about here it started out with my father and 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 the biggest shift has been when I really took back the, the power to myself and not being able to I thought because in 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 the beginning, I thought that the answers was out there, but it's actually in here. And it always starts from within, as I, as I used to write. And I remember that it always starts from within. And, and it's all, always our own world in here that we need to, um, well, sort out uh, and understand and forgive and let go and, and stuff like that. So uh, when that shift really took place, and uh, like I then I am the boss. I am the person that really in, in charge. I decide what I do or not do, what I feel or not feel, say or not say, or what people I hang out with, or, or in, in the past, I was always stuck in what others thought, thought of me or like the, or my own emotions when I carried a lot of grief and I let that dictate what I was doing or not doing. Um, and, and uh, yeah, that's a, a big shift uh, and, and going from a victim place where there is no power actually at all um, and, 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 and really decide because we only have a, a limited amount of time on this planet Earth where, where we are humans and, and, and doing the best of the situation um, because what I write in, about in this book created a lot of pain, but pain is actually neutral. It just drove me to do something else it took, so I can take action. Um, yeah. So you told everyone you're an entrepreneur and you started with a normal business and now you're, you know, growing and developing that and tell people what it was like before. Have you always been an entrepreneur working for yourself, creating businesses? Was it always that easy? No, it was not. I, mm, I, al I always had like, I always had a job, like a normal, regular job. You go nine to five. I've been working on some 
uh, like uh, manufacturing industries, and I've been working as a uh, a farmer, and I was working as a, uh, a, a, a what do you call that? Like I I was uh, building uh, ventilation systems and stuff. Like this weird stuff that I didn't really care about at all. I had no heart <laughs> in it, and I was like, I I went there and I felt like I was a slave. Like I was um, I was doing. I had no purpose on why I was doing. It. I was just doing stuff to survive, and. Um, and actually, I found out in the entrepreneurial entrepreneurial journey started out quite early in my age, but I couldn't understand at that point that I love the uh, when you're giving value uh, to one or more uh, in the individuals and you get back. It started out early, and I went into a world where uh, there was a, a lot of drugs and alcohol and, and stuff like that, and I started to sell that. That was my first like starting point, and buy and sell and, and drugs and and, and it's just the wrong product. Uh, <laughs> like it's, it's a product, but it's the wrong price. It's not legal. It's not good for you. It's like nothing like that. But I but I now understand that I had it within me, and I wanted to do it, but I couldn't. In my head, who was I to start a business? Who was I to do all this stuff? Who was I to make money? And who was I to take a, a place in the world? And who were I to like, um, oh, Olga, hey, Olga. Uh, <laughs> and then who, who were I to actually do all those things? But in the end, the pain was, was so hot. The, the idea of not doing it was more painful than the actual, like, uh, journey to go out there and, and because when you, you go out there you you get visible for a lot of people and they can put they can judge you they can hate on you uh, they can take try to take you down uh, they can uh, as I had like I had people throw shit in my mailbox actually and and also even um, a they wanted to kill my ex-girlfriend at that point uh, and, and, and like you get all this stuff so it can be real, but the pain of not doing it and really understand what who you can become was more painful. So um, no, I haven't really been an, an, an entrepreneur my whole life, but I felt that I wanted to do something for me or and contribute to other people. Um, but I was in such a low, um, I had, I couldn't see myself like who was I. You're nothing, Michael. You can't do this shit. More like that, it's your all bullshit that you've been giving from my past, and and I think there's a lot of other people that maybe gets the same. But but really going out there and doing it, it's like it's can be very hard sometimes, but at the same time, it's very fulfilling. Uh, and and the, and the hard work. Now, when I get a problem or a hard, some hard work, I understand that it's just something that is actually preparing me for something else. So I was like, okay, it's hard now. What am I going to do? No, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to solve this, whatever. I don't know, money problem or like some other problem with some emo often it's emotions. It's an emotion with something uh, that you feel mm, someone triggered uh, something inside of you and you don't understand what it is. And you get angry, upset, but like that could be a problem, right? Um, but just facing all those things and really understand that everything is just within you. It's never about someone else. Like if you have a conversation and that you think that person is bugging you, it's within you. <laughs> uh, and, and, uh, and heal that, those parts. And then all of a sudden something impossible becomes possible because you heal the part of yourself. Uh, and that's beautiful. And how do you do that? How did you make that shift? How did you go from that place of not, you know, being afraid, having all those fears of doing it, not feeling worthy enough to do it? How did you make that yeah. transformation to now you've exceeded, I'm sure, your own expectations and then just continue to fly? Yeah, they, are you, I lost you there. Can you say that again? So how did you do it? How did you overcome those that self-doubt that I'm not good enough, I can't do it, all those fears? What was it that helped you transform? Because you exceeded even your own expectations, I'm sure. And now you just continue to soar. 
so so yeah, th this is very interesting. So like how to really do it because that's what all, everyone wants to know, right? How are you gonna do it? I believe that uh, it's energy. Everything is energy, and and uh, like self doubt is energy. Uh, grief is energy. Uh, anger is energy. In the beginning, it was a lot of anger that drove me. I'm gonna show this, mm -hmm, you know. I'm gonna show them that <laughs> it was anger like, that that was uh, in the end drove the whole situation. Uh, uh, my my uh, family abandoned me, and 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 I was like, no, I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna make them out. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Like that was anger. But then when I let the anger out. I could release the energy from within me uh, in, in different types of circumstances where I maybe forgave, uh, I let go of stuff and I forgave myself, other people, for example. And, and, and I, uh, because I had, a, I had a call once where I called up my, for example then, uh, I had a call uh, that I called up my grandmom where, uh, she has been the one that that abandoned me and took all all my money and everything is in the book. So I, I but it's just very short. And they took everything from me. I had nothing. I was completely out of money. I had I was living at in my ex apartment in a one roomer and I was so angry. I was like, why is something punish me? Why am I having this pain? Why why does I don't know something want to hurt me? And then um, just stuff just happened. Uh, and, and then I started the business. The first year I made like, I think two million something and it was just kept on going. <clears throat> and I was like, yay, I made the money. You know, I, I was like, but, but then five years after something hit me like super hard. Like I heard something and, and, and the idea was that I was going to call my grandmother and I was going to uh, say to her that I love you, uh, I, I miss you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, uh, I, um, I hope that we can be friends. And my heart was beating so fast, like incredibly, I thought the, the heart was like, you can like feel the whole, I was like, and, and I had the phone, and the phone, um, I, I dialed, dialed the number, and I couldn't, like I couldn't, Pressed. I sat there for like 20 minutes, like I can't do it. I, I told my ex, like, I'm gonna do this, but I, I can't press. And she's like, Michael, I support you, I'm here. And I was like, okay, let's do this. I was so, I was so afraid uh, because this person rejected me and took everything from me and like uh, abandoned me and like all, all those things. I took the phone and I, and I, and I did it. And I called her up and I hear the, the calls. Uh, and uh, and she says, hey, and I was like, I understand that she sees that I am calling. I understood that. So she answered differently than she normally do. And then I say, uh, hey, it's Michael. Uh, I'm sorry for everything. I love you. I miss you. Please forgive me. I, I, want, I want us to be friends. Can, uh, I hope that we can meet in the future. And then... I, and then I, and I was about to just hang out and see what happens in, in her head when I do this stuff, right? So I, when I'm about to hang out, I hear when I'm, when I'm here with the phone. And then she says, I don't think so. And then boom, I hit the, hit the, uh, the, the phone. And I was in my bed and I remember the heart stopped beating and I was like, I, I fell back and I started to cry. And from that moment on, from that moment on, I forgave myself, I understand now. I forgave myself and her. And what actually happened was that the energy of anger, I want to show you, I'm going to do this. Like, <clears throat> you know, that completely disappeared. It was gone. I, and from that moment on, I want to sell, I, I wanted to sell my business. So the business that I created, they gave me money and and all that stuff, fulfillment and fun. And I met all these people, incredible people and everything. But there was no driving me anymore to run that business because I started that business from a place of anger and hate and not from a place of love. So when it comes to how, I believe it's about energy. It's about what emotions, what everything that you are carrying that, that me, makes you do what you do. Uh, so that was like, that's one shift. And then I had 
I don't know, 50 more of these <laughs> or something where I, I, I done stuff that in the moment was so hard that I, I was so afraid of that, that would literally hurt me what I felt, but I did it anyway. Because in my heart, I knew it was right. Like, there was something small that just like, Michael, this is what you're going to do. And my head starts, no, Michael, they're going to hate on you. They're going to they're <laughs> gonna, they're gonna tell you that you suck. They're going to tell you that they don't love you. They don't want to see you. And everything. that's my head. My heart said, Michael, do it. Forgive, forgive them. Call them up. Say that you love them. Uh, say that you care about them uh, and, and that you want to be friends with them and that, that you're sorry. So that shift, it's, it's an example of how you do it. You've got to do the work yourself. No one's going to come there and save you. Uh, no one's going to, like, that's where the heart, like, the truth. Uh, no one's going to do it for you at, or for me or anyone else. And when you do this work, it's so fulfilling. It's so, like, you look, it's like you have this lenses, 50 lenses or something, then you take 10 off, and then you're like, oh, a different world. Because you feel and you see different on people. You act different towards other people and yourself. So what you're saying to yourself and, and also what you, that reflects on what you say to other people. Um, so, yeah, a long thing now. But, yeah, that's uh, uh, one thing that really how stuff uh, changed. And you've trained with some of the best in the world. Um, we both have Tony Robbins in common. We both train yeah. with this incredible guy. I know you had a natural interaction, intervention with Tony. What was your biggest breakthrough when it came to working with Tony? Oh, uh, uh, that I could see that, that I have the, the power within me. And then really understood that we are all just humans, and and to bringing that stuff out of myself that I didn't thought was really there, just like enhanced everything. And the more I just like when I talked to him or anyone else, the more I just understood, and the the more beliefs about what I'm capable of doing and wanting to do, they just became bigger. So those small seeds that were there that I got that I'm going to do this, I can do whatever I want, like everything I put my mind to, I do any, any money I will make, I can make, or like any person I want, can help, I can help or anything like that. It just enhances and I, and I have a better awareness and understanding of, and also an inner certainty that I am here for a purpose. I just didn't come to this place and this uh, earth by a coincidence uh, and that I have really have something to contribute with and, um, and almost that I feel that because this, the, the book is about like, the main thing why I wrote the book is that seeing it dif like either you chose to be, be like in grief for the rest of your life or you chose to see it that my father's death was another step for me to become who I'm supposed to be or like who, who am I able to uh, become and what I can contribute. It was a step in the process and it's just up to me to um, learn from it, grow from it and, and really it just enhances all those small things that I already have inside of me. He just like smashed into me, it's like Michael, he just, like, everything was just like, okay, check, 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 check on all the boxes. And I was like, okay, I get it. I get it now. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> yeah, so that's what, 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 he's, what he's been doing. But then there's a lot of other people, and, 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 and the same there, they just, like, uh, confirms that you're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. Like, um, and, and you, ex you start to accept that world, and you understand that, oh, shit, maybe – Maybe I have a gift. Maybe I have something that other people don't have that I can contribute to, to, to this world. Uh, and I, and I, in my hallucination, I see it as that I have a gift as, as well as you and everyone else. Just our, like, our uh, 
if we want to find that or not and then use it. That's how I see it. I see it as a superpower. Uh, and that just makes everything so much easier. So, yeah. So amazing. So I tell a lot of people that work with us, that people that work with us, we always connect in the strangest of coincidences. <laughs> exactly. Coincidences. <laughs> Do you want to share how you came about working with us to create your book? Bear in yeah, mind yeah, that definitely. you know you're in Sweden, we're around yeah. the world. We write books in English. That's not your first language. But how did we come about creating your book? Very interesting. So I was traveling in this at that moment. I was traveling all around the world on different places all the time and met a lot of people and did stuff. And I was like, and then uh, a friend of mine says that I'm going to this place in in Amsterdam. And, um, uh, and I said, maybe I should come, maybe I should follow you to this place. But I had no idea. I was like, actually, what, what am I going to do there? Because I'd already been to that place once, not that long ago. I was like, well, I couldn't really find a deeper why, why I was going to go there. But I had a feeling within me, like I, I followed this feeling very often. Uh, and it just told me that go there, do this thing, uh, and I did. And then we rented an Airbnb, and my friend rents it, and he sorts everything out. And we were fully like we were fully booked. And then you, I think you contacted him, right? Yeah. If I don't this whole thing, and you said uh, that oh, you have a space, and it was like oh, you can take the couch, but then you ended up getting this, the the big bed. You got a big bed, and I was like, okay, yeah. gentlemen. <laughs> we, get, we got excited about that. We got excited. And, um, and then I met, remember I woke up in the middle of the night, everyone's sleeping, and I hear banging on the door. And <laughs> there's, then I go down, and I was like, then you stand there. And I was not really, really prepared. I knew that you were coming, but, and then you stand there. And then we started to talk and started to get to know each other. And then, and you said that you're working with books, and I've been thinking about writing a, a book. Um, but I never like knew what I'm gonna what it's gonna be about or anything like that. Um, what it's gonna name or anything like I didn't know nothing. I just knew I had a crazy story that maybe some other person could benefit from. And then um, and then we started to talk about it, and then it was like, let's write a book. And I was like. I had no idea what's what the name about the book or what's going to be in the book or like how anything is going to solve out like nothing like that and then we actually we took kind of a decision but it was not 100 percent in i came home and one day uh had a weird coincidence in my backyard what i explained in the book it's quite interesting and then i just walks in i call you and i was like let's go and do this stuff and then we were full on so it's just uh, weird that the yeah how stuff uh, <laughs> happened or like very interesting very interesting it was a very fun journey so would you like to tell everyone you're going to be given a free giveaway today yeah, uh, do you want to I've, I've put the link in the description if you want to share what that is so the, the link in the description is that I want to give away the first chapter to anyone that maybe feel that they have, they've maybe lost someone or they may be you're just interested in of, of, uh, of doing your journey of yourself or whatever that could be. Maybe you're having grief or uh, you want to process stuff. Um, the first chapter is uh, I want to give it for free so people can like start to read it and understand a little bit what the book is about because I think this book is quite different to a lot of other books uh, and and when you have the first chapter then you can decide if you want to keep reading it or not so I want to I want to give a, the people uh, the um, opportunity to have it for free uh, and and as you said you give put the link there so they can just and then you can get them you just send it out right for them yeah uh, send the whole thing right uh, and because yeah, the first chapter is it's about uh, it's called losing that finding myself and it's it, it's it's the uh, part where I talk a lot about my dad and how I see different because I really I hated him 
I was like this man. I was blaming and everything, and then and then that shifted. Now it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, it feels maybe uh, it, it sounds maybe weird to say, but I have a different relationship with him. I don't have that relationship. I have a new relationship with him that is more healthy, as I see it. Uh, and um, and if, if I could give that to someone, that would probably take the joy uh, and the the grief out of it and have more joy in life. And that's what I'm because I've been suffering so much myself, and I don't want to suffer anymore. I just want life to be happy and fun. I want to do fun stuff. Um, even though grief is a part of it, of course. Um, but if it's ninety-five percent of the day is taken up by grief or hate or shame or anything like that, the quality of the life is not that good and fulfilling, maybe. And if you can, by some small steps, if you can just do those small steps, change how how you feel along the day. It will completely transform how you live, what you do, how much money you make, what people you hang out with, where you live, and all those things. So, yeah, that's what I want to give it away for free, the first chapter, so people can get a sense of what, what it actually is. That's what I want to do. Amazing. Make. That's so beautiful, yeah. and we're so grateful, so I'll make sure that gets shared out to everybody. Tell people, what are you doing now? Because you're now on, like, a different mission to help people. You've come so far just since starting the book journey everything's changed for you yeah. so what are you doing now how are you helping people now so i sold my old company it's gone i moved to another city i, I, I live here with in a big house uh here's our out like our place where we work and i live with two friends of mine they're also uh having their own businesses uh, and we live here together and do this stuff so i do uh now in corona it's like it's a little bit like when I do events where I help people to shift, do those things within that shift uh, so you can like change how you feel literally. And I help people out with that. And I also do coaching all around the world with people and, and this book. And I also starting up a new jewelry brand that I have. Uh, so it's on the pipeline with that too. So that's fun. Uh, and I'm on a, like I hang out with different people and I, uh, I'm on my way to, I we think that we are aiming towards America. We'll see a bit with, with Corona and everything. So there's a lot of things happen and, and I really work with the stuff that gives me juice. Uh, and I think that so many people are not doing that. Uh, and, and you can just like make small shift, small shift in life. And then you can have a more happy and fulfilled life. So yeah, I do those things and I invested in, um, in a, uh, in a in a bank and another company and I was like I do I'm investing in other companies like it's crazy how, how that actually happened uh, and um, yeah uh, and I work one on one or in group with people so I just enjoy uh, now it's fun it's in flow like stuff comes to me it's not a struggle I don't have to fight anymore and and that's where I want to give to other people that shift uh and i love that yes it's been a beautiful journey to watch i've never seen someone so quickly go from head to heart and really come from that place of heart what's been really yeah. incredible is you're so guided and you listen so many yeah. people have those feelings have those impulses and kind of push them aside whereas yeah. you're open enough to go with it trust it and flow and like you said the way your yeah. life is now aligned it's been yeah. magic. It hasn't been a struggle. It's been a beautiful journey. So I love that mm -hmm. you're doing this whole head to heart thing, getting people out of these silly yeah. things and yeah. back into a place of living from their heart. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's uh, amazing. And when you start to like, as I used to say, when you start to listen to it, because it whispers very, very quiet. But when you learn how to sort all the other bullshit out and listen to that and just go with it, like, <laughs> I can't really explain it, but magic literally happens. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, so, yeah. So, that head to heart, my event. Yeah, that's what I call it. 
Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for spending some time to join us today. I'm sure people have got huge value, so many lessons and great takeaways. Don't forget yeah. everybody to click the link above and get Michael's first chapter. He goes deep straight in that first chapter. So you're going to learn so much about Michael. There it is. Ah, yeah. the amazing book. So go download that, download that first chapter, um, get to know Michael. It doesn't yeah. matter what your story is. There'll be parts of that chapter that really, they get yeah. you out of your head and into your heart and from a whole different exactly. place. He's already received incredible feedback. He's already changing lives yeah. just with this first chapter. So yeah. go click it, go enjoy it. And Michael, thank you so much for joining me today. Mwah. Love you guys. We nearly thank forgot. You. Michael, what day does your book launch? 28th of November. Yay, finally, it's coming. <laughs> Woohoo! So 28th of November, he will be sharing yes. the book live on Amazon. Yay! Thank you so much, yes. Michael. We'll connect soon. Bye. Yeah.